Uh, so they're telling us Trudeau's announced a massive drop, massive drop in. Well, that's it's actually not a massive drop uh, in immigration targets as liberals make major pivot. It's not really that major of a pivot. I guess just the fact that they're admitting that it's too much, but what they're doing isn't going to do. It's going to do absolutely nothing. And they're not going to do it anyway. They'll say they're going to do it and then not do it. We know that because of everything they've done so far. The federal government slashed immigration targets to levels that will flatten popula population growth, which I don't believe for a second. As Prime Minister Justin Trudeau admitted Thursday, the government did not get the balance right after the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah, th that's putting it lightly. Did not get the balance right. Yeah, that, that's I'm just going to say that's putting it very lightly. The government had targeted bringing in 500,000 new permanent residents in both 2025 and 2026. Well, I mean, that's a very small part of it. There's 750,000 temporary foreign workers in the country right now. 750,000. We'll get into that in a second. Next year's target will be 395,000 new permanent residents. So that's about a 20% drop. But again, it's so basically 400,000 instead of 500,000. That's like saying, okay, uh, instead of spending $500 a day on cocaine, I'm only going to spend four, $400 a day. That's really going to flatten it there. Right? <laughs> That's going to fix everything. And of course, I'm not actually going to do that because if I've got $500 to spend on cocaine, I'm spending it. That will fall to 380000 and 365000 in 2027. This is going to do nothing. This is going to do absolutely nothing. It's still making it worse. You know, the $400 a day on cocaine is still bad, right? It's still bad. In the, in the tumultuous times as we emerged from the pandemic, between addressing labor needs and maintaining population growth, we didn't get the balance quite right, Trudeau said Thursday morning. Yeah, didn't get it quite right. Quite right. Huh. With the plan we're announcing today, along with the previously announced measures, we're making our immigration system work better. No, it's still totally and utterly broken. It should be zero amount, people. Should be zero new ones. We're not building, we are not even going to be remotely building 395,000, never mind 365,000 houses, which is what you need to do. You can't bring in any more people. We have a serious housing crisis and a ballooning homelessness problem. Because of it, the federal government estimates Canada's population will decline slightly by 0.2% in 2025 and 2026, before returning to growth of 0.8% in 2027. I don't believe anything they say whatsoever. I don't believe Canada's population will decline. What do we have here? Here's Trudeau again. Far too many corporations have chosen to abuse our temporary measures, exploiting foreign workers while refusing to hire Canadians for a fair wage. Gee, I wonder if it's because you're using tax dollars from the working class to subsidize the wages of these temporary workers so that, like, Tim Hortons and other companies can pay them less. Gee, I wonder if it's because you're doing this giant extraction of wealth upwards. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. So, let's see. The corporations are doing exactly what you wanted them to do. Interesting. But it's their fault. Strange. All the while, under the watch of provinces, some colleges and universities are bringing in more international students than communities can accommodate treating them as an expendable means to line their own pockets. That's unacceptable, and it needs to change. You issue the visas, you fucking... I, 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 there's things that I want to say. There's things that I want to say that I'm not going to say. The federal government controls all of this. The colleges don't control immigration. The federal government can say no. The federal government controls how many people can come into the country. This Trudeau... I mean, have you ever seen a slimier, sleazier, more dishonest politician ever? I mean, I know that we've got, he's got some competition in the Western world, but come on, this is just grotesque. Uh, business groups reacted negatively to the news, arguing it will hurt the ability of employers to fill labor shortages. They reacted, business groups reacted ne negatively to the news because they're not going to be able to pay people less anymore and have it subsidized by the working class. They're not going to be able to use the working class, force the working class to pay for their own replacements. So corrupt. 
just so insanely corrupt. Here we go. Here's the immigration under Trudeau. Let's see, man, it really went up there. Really went up there. Because COVID, I guess. Wow. Well, we had tens of thousands of small businesses shutting down. Thanks, Trudeau. Thanks. Here, revise liberal targets. Mm. I noticed that um, <clears throat> even by 26, 27, it's still, way, it's still way higher than it had been. <laughs> so it's still way too many people. You know what's the right amount of people? Zero amount of people. We need to integrate and deal with the amount of people that we have now. Our infrastructure can't handle it. Our hospitals can't handle it. The correct number should be zero. I mean, look, we, we, we really, you know, filled our boots here, right? Look, like that should be enough for a while. We should, we, we should, we should be able to say, look, we took in, you know, a couple of years worth in one year. Maybe we can just stop, right? Just rest, just rest. We'll try and integrate the people that we've already got. I think it should be slashed to zero. But you see how the media is always, always spinning, announces massive drop in immigration targets. As liberals make major pivot. No, they didn't. It's not massive cuts, and it's not a massive pivot. And they're not going to do it anyway. Why would anybody believe them to do anything? Let's see. Housing minister denies he ignored warning about immigration levels and housing supply. Sean Frazier said warnings about housing supply were balanced against labor shortages. This came out February of this year. So why should we? They, they were warned. They were warned. Um, they must have had warnings earlier than two years before that, than February of 2022, right? Why would anybody believe them? They didn't need the warning. I mean, you, you would just know. I mean, there are there are government agencies that put together, you know, the the statistics and the details and the data, right, and the various metrics. Like, I, there are people who do logistical studies on this stuff who can say, yeah, you we're going to run out of places for people to stay. And that was the case long before two years ago. It's very clear Trudeau's job, Trudeau's job, wherever those, wherever the commands came from, was to just jam as many people into the country as possible. That's it. And I do not see any reason why he's not going to just, well, he, he is. Even with the cuts, he's still jamming the country full of people. Why would anyone believe it? Anyway, that's all I'm going to say about that. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.